we should stop. Okay. Uh, that's it. <laughs> Hi guys. I just want to share with you guys something really interesting because I scored something on a uh, equivalent of eBay, but in Spain. It's called this website Wallapop. Usually every day I'm, I'm, I'm just searching on this website to look for some really nice machines or second hand something something. For example, a uh, couple of weeks ago I scored this one, which is a uh, really nice, really professional uh, woodworking uh, machine. So what's the story here? I looked on, a, on this Wallapop website, um, uh, a smaller CNC. The machine was listed like uh, uh, 1216. And somewhere, somehow in my mind, I, okay, so it's a 12 inch by 16 inch uh, machine. Believe me, when I arrived there, I just stayed in front of it and I said, oh my God. So this is uh, a 1.2 meter by 1.6 meter CNC machine. The seller, he's a very nice guy uh, and he's a really professional guy. Uh, he's dealing with uh, color profiling and uh, color matching for industrial printing and color, whatever really sophisticated uh, uh, system. So he's developing softwares, they are developing hardwares and uh, many crazy things and uh, on, you can imagine the, the price level. So this machine is used in the past uh, 15 years to produce very small amount of prototype uh, parts for his uh, developments. So mainly, I can show you some of the parts. I think it's nothing uh, secret about it. So, you know, it's like a very small uh, PCB holders, like uh, side of the boxes and uh, uh, text uh, prints on, on um, machine plates. So usually this is the stuff what he, he made with, with this machine. All the bearings are in perfect condition. All the, the so the, the gantry is super rigid. The headstock is, is also super rigid. The ball screw is also in good condition. So this machine is a King Sign. And this is the KX1216. This creation.com.hong uh, Kong, this company of course is not exist anymore. There is nothing information about this machine at all on the internet. Fortunately, uh, fortunately, I have here the original user manual, but with one issue. Okay, so this is Spanish. <laughs> and I'm not a Spanish guy. But I don't have here all the, the, the service manual and the technical details and uh, nothing about the control uh, box uh, features. Um, <laughs> vacuum table. Joseph just uh, cut uh, sometimes into the, <laughs> into the table, but otherwise, you see here everything is uh, clean and nice and uh, never touched. Probably he had some issue with this part, you see? So it's, it's the same part everywhere. <laughs> so here I think he forgot to set up the, the tool height for the, for the cutter. And here there is some other uh, small circular items, but uh, the vacuum table itself is in very good condition. Uh, spindle. Water cooled, uh, 24,000 RPM. And uh, non animal it's a one and a half uh, kilowatt uh, motor on 60% load. It has a little bit uh, uh, bearing noise, maybe you can hear it. Yeah. Limit switch. So this is inductional uh, limit switch. And we have the same here, somewhere inside, I saw it one. And we have other one on, of course, uh, on that axle. Uh, feature number two is the power hose of the vacuum table. This is a really interesting piece of uh, machine. Uh, I forgot the name, uh, how it's called. But basically, uh, this is a high volume, uh, high speed, high vacuum pump. 
uh, which has a really interesting turbine inside. Uh, sorry, I already did the cleanup and um, the adjustments, and ch I checked the bearings and everything in the motor. So this is now this now is running perfectly, noiseless, everything everything okay. Come back to the issue what the previous guy did, or maybe the Chinese guy did, who built this machine in Hong Kong. So they just <laughs> connected directly. <laughs> the the vacuum system into the vacuum pump with this uh, straight pipe, yeah. So, uh, and you can imagine sometimes these very small particles. Of course, they can go from this small hose to the vacuum system and are uh, ending up in your vacuum pump. Which in this case, with this uh, type of pumps, this is a big no, 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 no. This is a really big no. I see some problems inside because of this dust issue, but maybe you can see here. So warning, I can zoom on in. So warning, cannot be, <laughs> what is this Chinese English? Cannot be sucked impurities from the suction inlet. Yeah, so, but if you don't understand the Chinglish, Maybe you can see here, okay? So the, this is your dust and it cannot enter into this uh, pump. Fortunately, I have a friend in a German company and they are working exactly with this type of uh, vacuum pumps. And he already told me they have here uh, uh, a local uh, uh, workshop or something and they're waiting for me to get the, the right uh, uh, filter here and the right X house uh, muffler because if you believe or not but the, the, this whole vacuum system and how this pump is working is really depending on the the speed and pressure differences whatever because if the things are not right so the the resistance on the output is not right or on the input is too high, or the pressure here is too low and here is too low, or something, something, it has a weird um, equation, then the pump itself will generate a lot of heat, like a lot. That's why you have normally this really big uh, heat sinks on this type of pump. So anyway, uh, next week I will get this uh, filter and with this uh, muffler or whatever and then I can complete here this system and then I can show you guys how this uh, really big uh, vacuum system is working. I don't know how and where I can get this type of uh, insert because it has a really great feature. You can see there is a T-slot and it's also vacuum. Not a lot of uh, vacuum table is made in this way. Most of them are made or only vacuum table or only T-slot. But here, so Joseph gave me a lot of uh, holders, for example. So with this table, I can go with uh, a normal uh, uh, work holder system like this, or I can use only the, the vacuum or I can use both. So. So my only problem with that, if I want to replace this one, because this is like a 20 something year old system, I don't know who, uh, we, who can uh, give me this uh, rubber thingy on the top, which is babe, it's not a rubber. So my <laughs> escape plan here, if I cannot get what I will do, I will buy a big mat, like uh, in one piece, and then I will uh, write a program for the machine to cut the T-slots, okay, first cut the T-slots and then drill a new uh, vacuum hose with uh, two kind of bits. I think it will be finished in two and a half hour of uh, job because look how much hose <laughs> I have to make, but I think it's not impossible. Even I think uh, this is how they did it in the past, um, I'm not sure. It has, of course, uh, really old-fashioned pendant, <laughs> which is uh, super slow. And it has an air system and it has a cooling system and of course it has a dust uh, extraction system. Look, the it's like almost new, yeah? So uh, how this is working, so this is coming here. 
So when you load your tool and you change your tool, you just close it and then you have here a pipe and then this pipe is going up uh, to the ceiling. Uh, by the way, Joseph gave me this uh, dust extractor system, which has a really powerful motor with two uh, really big uh, filtering uh, bag, whatever. But uh, basically this is what he used for it. Mm. I'm not so happy with this kind of design because if you cut uh, plastic, which uh, hard plastic, then it can generate a really soft, uh, really tiny, really fine dust, which can escape uh, from the textile and is going to the lung. So the only solution for this, of course, is the record power uh, CAMVAC system, which are here, okay, with a dual motor. So I already have uh, this machine. It has a really big uh, container for the dust. We basically, what is this? This is like <laughs> when the normal vacuum cleaner and these kind of dust extractors, they spend the night together and this is the child. So, uh, so it's, it's not only generating good enough vacuum, but it's also very good, extremely good in filtering, and it can produce a lot of uh, uh, volume, so you can imagine. So here's the, here is the inlet pipe, which is 100 millimeter, okay? I completely renovated, completely cleaned up everything, everything uh, checked, uh, greased, uh, cleaned, uh, whatever. So now it looks almost almost like new. Uh, switches and controls. This one here switched on and off this big uh, heavy dust collection, okay? The next one is a compressor because this one need a compressor only for the coolant, uh, mist coolant, sorry. Um, I think this is aftermarket uh, touch. It can be original, I don't know. So I can cut wood, I can cut uh, soft metals and polycarbonate. What a good thing about uh, this uh, system here. It's meaning I already have here the air, okay? In the whole gantry in this channel, okay? So the air is already up here and it's coming from here and blah, 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 blah. So why is it good uh, for me? Of course, I want to change this uh, uh, spindle motor, okay, to something more uh, modern, more advanced. So what I think I will drop here, uh, automatic tool changer uh, spindle motor. I will modify a little bit this uh, protection box, make sure the new motor <laughs> is somewhere here. I check the sizes, it's ending somewhere here. Can fit into this box and uh, and for that automatic tool changer thing is, you need air for release uh, your tool. Uh, this spindle now, uh, this one can hold up, let's say six millimeter uh, bits or uh, maximum this thing is, yeah. And maybe some special uh, router bit or what is this? I don't know even, but uh, you see, so this is the size like uh, three, four millimeter. So yeah, two kilowatts. Power on three millimeter bits, it's some. Um. <laughs> At the moment, I don't think so. I will go with the full automatic uh, tool changer thingies. I think what I will do, only I will store here all the bits and the tools. And when the, the machine is asking me to replace the tool and do the, the tool head set, I just drop the tool here and I will insert the, the new one. So, so this was the compressor. And this is the, <laughs> I don't know if you know uh, Spanish, but vacío. Uh, so this was the vacuum system. And here is the control for the vacuum system. Two line per tap. This one is the, the VFD for the spindle at the moment, uh, which is, uh, I think it's kind of okay-ish. It's driving the spindle well and uh, is doing his thing, so he's starting automatically with the with the horrible software inside in the DSP. <laughs> we will get to that part soon. And here, what I have, it's like a normal uh, emergency stop. I can uh, fire up the machine, and here is the pennant, and this is uh, the the tool height uh, uh, probe. 
input, but unfortunately I don't have this one. So I have to guess and measure and uh, make a new one because I don't have any documentation of course. It's just a piece of metal, you know, and some insulation material and, and basically that's it. Now under the machine, so this is all the, the vacuum system. I will drop inside some really silent one. You know, nowadays you can buy this really silent, uh, almost plastic looking, uh, very small compressors. Uh, for 200, 300 dollar or euro. Motion control. Mm. Now this is where the things are getting really weird. This was designed and developed by the software company, okay, who made the software. <laughs> and their name was Vectorsoft, not the Vectorsoft today in uh, Europe. Eh? So this is uh, Vectorsoft in Hong Kong. So what they did, they dropped some uh, ceilings, uh, altera something, DSP on a board with some kind of really low speed, low whatever uh, IO port. Then was in 2004, 2005 was a ooh, ooh, USB. So everybody went to USB, so what they did, they just uh, drop inside a um, USB converter dual port chip, <laughs> which is converted the USB 1.0 to uh, serial. And they added here, this one is some kind of EPROMOR, uh, let's say SSD. And uh, now, and this is uh, where all these things get really weird because what's going on here? This software, is almost doing nothing <laughs> uh, in a configuration is just uh, taking the 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 design file from other software and it's only converting into the g code which is already some kind of g code you see nothing you you cannot change nothing so this one is only pushing the file <laughs> across the USB cable into the DSP. So <laughs> you have to load the DXF to here. And from here you have to export to the other software, to the Vectorsoft software. And from the Vectorsoft you have to upload to the DSP board, which has a really limited, very small amount of uh, storage capacity, like 16 megabyte or something like this. If you don't touch uh, the positioning or you're not doing so much zeroing and changing the tool heights and the tools, you can finish, uh, let's say, a five minute uh, cutting job in, let's say, in a half an hour, okay? <laughs> so that's what I really hate about this machine. Only, come on, it's a 20 year old technology. Yeah? I don't expect uh, something really new and sophisticated, but, all the rest of the control box, I think it's it's okay. Let me go in a little bit. Really big, beefy toroidal uh, transformer. Yeah, with a one, two, three <laughs> diode bridge and three huge capacitors. So this is the the PSU for the for the motors. Now the motor controllers are uh, uh, just um, old fashioned step and direction, nothing uh, feedback, no closed loop, no sophisticated servo, nothing. So this one it's only, if nobody you wanna buy this one, they probably be that small, <laughs> like, like this small, like a couple of centimeter and uh, they cost probably like uh, 20 euro or something. But back in the days, uh, 20 years ago, come on, this was, a, this was a real thing. Over there, we have a lot of uh, high voltage thingies, relays, connectors, uh, whatever. This one, this big boy is the VFD uh, for this uh, two kilowatt uh, uh, spindle. Uh, of course, I will replace this one. And here is the, the DSP. Okay, here in that corner, this is the, let's say it's an out, output connection board or something, how they call it? Uh, connect board V6 from 2002, oh my god, it's even more than 20 years, eh? Okay, so from that, uh, uh, so this panel is driving the, 
uh, stepper motor drivers and those guys um, just hook to the voltage you see so here is the the power uh, which is hooked to here and uh, basically that's it and just for <laughs> for a joke let's say uh, you see for example here you can see what kind of uh, jingy junky jobs they did in the past so yeah so this is a little bit how you did in 20 years ago <laughs> Oh my god. So here uh, nothing fancy, just a relays to, to, to start the compressor and uh, this uh, very special, really lovely uh, vacuum pump. So the control box, I think it's okay. Uh, it's clean and nice. There is no rust. There is no uh, really heavy used on that. Maybe I have to clean a little bit more here. Joseph really didn't use this machine uh, so much. Uh, let me let me show you the under end of the bow ball screw. Yeah, I think it's in a good shape. It's just a little bit of rusty rusty, but we cleaned up everything. And uh, I, think I've, I think this part is okay. Uh, if I uh, find out somehow on the middle there is a wear out or uh, is jumping up and down or I don't know, unbalanced, maybe I will order something from Taiwan because this is like a normal 32 millimeter, really big, heavy uh, ball screw. And uh, the linear uh, uh, rails are in good shape, in very good shape. Uh, they are 20 millimeter, so really robust, really big and really heavy. And uh, here we have the same inside. Let me open that a little bit. Yeah, so it's the same uh, 20 millimeter rail, double, yeah, and, uh, but here the ball screw, it's, I think it's like a 60 millimeter or 20 millimeter uh, ball screw, not uh, big heavy as the, the Y uh, the direction. Steppers. Now, here you can see the age, yeah, so, 20 years ago, I think this NEMA 34 stepper motors was, oh my God, was super expensive because this one has eight wire, yeah? So you can drive this one on, uh, how I can explain this, uh, like super micro stepper, I don't know how they call it. So each coil has the middle point, what you can utilize and use like a dividing point or you can drive two like in V or four in like X. So you have a lot of options to, to, to drive the, this type of uh, stepper motors. But what they did um, in Hong Kong by the Vectorsoft, yeah? <laughs> what they did, uh, of course they wired up, let's say every two coil into one wire. Yeah? You can see here, so from the eight uh, point, they utilized only one, two, three, four. And I noticed that, I thought on the beginning when I bought the machine, I opened uh, this uh, small box here, and I said, oh, it's nice, it has a encoder in and it's a closed loop system because I just saw this uh, so many wires. I thought maybe this part is the encoder, but no. Nah. <laughs> so let me switch it on and then you will understand why uh, this is a really bad uh, configuration. Okay, it's waking up. Making a lot of noise. Okay, so everything is okay. Nothing is burning, nothing is smoking. Hopefully. There is some kind of uh, boot uh, uh, something. It's not going nowhere without <laughs> loading the job. So you cannot do, there is no basic shapes generation or basic drilling or nothing. It's just waiting for your, uh, for your data. And you cannot install here, let's say Linux CNC or Mac 3 or Mac 4 and control that box uh, directly. There is no way. <laughs> of course, because it's developed by some uh, software developer. Eh? So may you think, oh, just use the cursors and then press the enter, yeah? Nothing. Yeah, nothing, nothing. So what you have to press here is the minus. <laughs> okay, so when, so minus and plus is navigating up and down, okay. So then you press enter, then it's doing something. 
So now you have to navigate to your new uh, zero. <laughs> By the way, when I'm moving this thing, <laughs> it's almost the whole garage is just shaking. Believe me guys, this is an 800 kilogram of machine. My bobcat, unfortunately, couldn't handle that. So I had to rent uh, uh, a forklift for 400 euro to get it off <laughs> and move here like three meters, yeah? Because we couldn't uh, make it with, with hand. So, and then uh, go back to the job. So it's, you just uh, spinning up the spindle. So let's make sure it's, uh, it's in the right speed and it can go up to 24,000. No, it's, I think it's okay. Yesterday made a little bit more noise, but maybe you can hear. Nah, it's definitely not new. Uh, let me spin it down. So after, uh, after you have to uh, go somewhere here and then here, and then set something as until uh, you can press the enter again and then it's asking again what of weirdo thing is you have to go through all the settings like D, U, whatever and this is really annoying and then if you didn't change so much the origins is we start in let's say in 8 minutes or 5 minutes back to the issue of the, the stepper motors modern servos they're eating much more less energy, they're much more silent, and they don't require this uh, holding uh, frequencies, whatever, to, to hold the stepper in, in a place. So my plan is, uh, first of all, of course, I want to replace the, the control system, so the main control system, and then, let's say after one month of playing with the machine, we will change the old steppers to a new uh, clear path uh, servos. And then we will change, of course, the spindle. We will install here some kind of laser cross system to, to see exactly where the tool is, is going down. And of course, this uh, quick tool changer solution here, half a manual at the moment. Uh, a new VFD driver, of course, for the new spindle, and uh, this one I will, uh, I will be so happy to not see this uh, Chinese <laughs> disaster anymore. So this we, we replace too, and basically that's it. I hope uh, this uh, small project will be interesting enough <laughs> for you guys and for the YouTube. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, see you next time. Bye. His name is Mao. Mao. Meow. What? You hungry? What do you want to eat? Uh, tuna. Yeah, tuna. I guess it's tuna. It's okay? You like it? So this is with tuna. Okay? and a little bit of mm, salmon. <laughs>